Maryland's a three-part drama and it's about two sisters who are estranged and they come together through a tragic accident when their mother dies and they have to piece together why their mother was in the Isle of Man and it's a love story between them and how we think we know our families but we don't. I guess if, if I if I had to put it in a genre it, it comes under a relationship show because it's about um, a family but in a way we kind of wanted to avoid any um, of the things that we'd seen on telly before so we would there's lots of stuff in there but it, yeah it feels familiar but it's also quite extraordinary so we've we've put some ordinary people into an extraordinary situation and um, it, we just concentrate on the characters so it, it there's no um, police there's no car chases it just it takes you on a ride through um, the lives of these people yeah. I think I missed old-fashioned drama I think you know when I was growing up and um, I was watching Band of Gold clocking off um, a lot of these brilliant northern dramas that I remembered um, I, I felt like I wanted to with Anne Marie who wrote this brilliant drama to do something that is um, old-fashioned but in the right sense you know that it just concentrates on the people and we don't move away from that there's no kind of um, extra bells and whistles where we didn't need them to be and and I think we've achieved that in it's the drama that we set out to make I think this story is it, it, it's it's ordinary people's lives it feels very real to me it feels like a story that you would hear in a, in the cafe or down the pub where someone says, oh, my auntie had that experience or my husband's brother had a, um, a sister he didn't know about or, you know, a, a double life. I think it's, it, it, it's not so outlandish that we don't recognise it, yet it is quite um, out there in what happens. And it's how you adapt to that. It's how when your world is smashed apart, how you adapt to those circumstances. Um, I, I feel like it, sometimes we put ourselves in um, familial roles within the family and then we don't ever grow out of them. So even when the sisters meet at 45 and late 40s, they still treat each other like when they were kids. And we see that very early on with a, a, an argument about a coffee bean necklace from Argos. Um, it's not about the coffee bean necklace, it's about so many other things. So I think hopefully it's recognisable to a lot of people. I, I had a dream about um, uh, two sisters in a, in a, a funny house somewhere that I didn't really know and I wrote it down and I'd been writing stuff before and I'd been writing treatments and coming up with ideas so I then fleshed it out a bit and so it was about a double life it was about two sisters and them finding a house and finding that their mother wasn't who she said she was but um, I felt like I wanted a writer on it because I I love to produce kind of other people's talents and and when I met Anne Marie she was already interested in all those aspects and had already written scripts about those things so I mean she's just she's done a beautiful job and I think her writing is so um, relatable and accessible I think she's wonderful and she's a mate of mine so that, that, that helps I got so close to it I think that there was always the, I was always going to play one of the sisters so as we developed it and we were in the writer's room I, I gravitated towards Becca probably because with Vigil and with Gentleman Jack and um, some of the roles that I'd taken on recently I was quite front-footed and um, dynamic in a sense whereas Becca kind of is tightly uh, wound in a way and she is led by her sister so I felt like that's who I wanted to play in this instance but yeah I, I just love producing I love um, we've got our own company as you say tea makers and we're we're developing lots of ideas so hopefully I'll be in some and I won't be in all of them I think I may have told her this but we literally manifested her by saying every day in the writer's room Kathy is played by Stockard Channing it's, and then um, when we got our casting director, we said, is, is Stockard, has Stockard read it yet? Has she read it yet? Has she read it yet? How many episodes has she read it? Um, and um, and then we got her and it's brilliant. And she was amazing and she was fun to be around. And as you say, it, it, it's a great part for her. 
and yeah we were all very excited <laughs> yeah watching it you're gonna love it i hope you will recognize some aspects of family life and it will get you talking and thinking and i think you'll love whether you've got a sister or a brother or not i think you will love the dynamics get watching it